So here we are at Star Wars, and this is our ultimate co-pilot, Chewie. He's actually brought to you by the For Real team. He's excited to say hello. So he's brought to us by the For Real team, so that's why you can see his character expressions are great. He also is gonna come with his signature roar. Very scary, he wants you to know. Uh, he also totally has the ability to talk. I know, oh my God, I know. Uh, he has the ability to talk and respond to you. So if I said, Chewie, can you say hi? Uh, and I'm gonna whisper this. Do you guys wanna know a secret about Wookiees? They're very ticklish. <laughs> he also comes with an accelerometer. So if I pick him up, he's totally able to tell. He can respond to motion, so if we go for a little ride, or if it gets a little bumpy. But now he's tired and he's like, please stop shaking me. He's fighting the Empire all day, and so he can totally just go down for a nap. Rock him to sleep a little bit. And as you can see, the eyes close and he snores. Yeah, him and Han have argued about this for quite some time. He comes with 100 plus motion and sound combinations. So the more you play with him, the more you're gonna discover. Uh, and we just think he's awesome. This is, this is the new man's best friend. So in terms of collectors, I'm gonna take you over here. We have our beloved Black Series. This is really our collector line. As you can see in the six inch, we have incredible detail deco. Uh, these are gonna be the most movie accurate sculpts you're gonna see. Uh, we of course have our little porks this year in our uh, six inch scale. What's really new and really cool is this thing called photo reel technology. And so basically what that is, is we're gonna be able to take uh, the faces from the characters and we're gonna be able to put them right on these six inch figures. So if you show here, um, we have some new solo characters over here as well. And it's just incredibly detailed, incredibly accurate. You can see the wrinkles. And then they also, Hasbro introduced uh, vehicles last year. So you can see that down here. Um, and then this year, what's brand new is we are introducing creatures. So we have a fan favorite, the Dewback, which fans have just been like pining after. So that's gonna be really fun. Uh, and then of course we have our Black Series centerpiece right over here. This is really all about taking a moment right from the movie and giving it to our fans and collectors to kind of create their own action. Each one will come with um, an action posed figure. So as you can see, you can otherwise do that with your six inch. They will also come with a light feature, each one, and uh, additional pegs so you can add in your other figures to really add to the fun, add to your scene. And of course, the detail and deco is pretty incredible. Then if you wanna move up here, this is our vintage line. This was very exciting when announced. So they're bringing back the Kenner, the Kenner packaging in the three, three quarter inch. So you can see that here. And then we're very excited to um, bring a vehicle as well in the vintage packaging. So this will come out in the fall and then these will be uh, spring items. So this is Darth Vader's helmet. Uh, the weight is incredible, totally movie-like. And it's three pieces. So I'm just gonna let you get some of that detail here. This helmet is basically gonna let you become Darth Vader instead of really just putting it on. Everything is magnetically attached. So you wanna get some of that detail as well. And it comes with three different breathing functions. So if you put on the neck piece, you're gonna hear his first breathing it's very hard and then when you put on the mask it's gonna change Ooh. so as you can hear now he has his mask breathing and then when you put on the helmet it all comes together and you are officially the Sith Lord it's very cool I've put it on and I'll tell you if you don't know if you lean more towards the darker the light you're gonna know when you put that on this is of course Han Solo's Millennium Falcon. But it looks a little weird, right? This is not the, the Falcon that we know and love. So I'm gonna show you what's really cool about this. As you can see, it totally already acknowledges that it's in the air, 
And if I want to fly, the sound effects are going to change. I have some awesome compartments here for smuggling. Necessary, of course. Let's put that back in. And then we have Han here in the cockpit as well. So let me show you what happens now. If I click this button here, I have firing options. So this will be the first one. And then I have a second firing option here. So now things are going to get a little crazy. We have to leave. We are going to go into hyperspeed. I'm going to press this here. You're going to get some awesome LED effects, sound effects. And then I'm going to press it again. And things are going to start to get a little hectic. If you want to feel, it starts to rumble. There's a rumble pack inside. The lights are going to go crazy. We're going to hit one more time. It's really time to get out of there. Lights are on. Things are getting crazy. We're going to hear an alarm. And we're basically going into full panic mode. And that happens. So it totally pops off. And now, if I take apart this out, you're going to get your own mini ship, which also comes with compartment that will be able to hold a figure and if you take a look at this now this is the Millennium Falcon that we all know and love so this is going to give you an awesome taste not only into um, possibly the movie and what it maybe looked like before but just how it became the Millennium Falcon. Right. Thanks for checking out Star Wars everyone may the force be with you.